Hey everybody, Jones Odians here, and welcome back to another episode of Spiritual Sundays. This week we're going to be talking about Mercury Stationing Direct, and I also wanted to share a few things with you guys, if you will allow me some space into your space. <laughs> I had a whole slogan for it, and I messed it up, but you know, I'm going to keep it this way. So Mercury stations direct today. It's in Cancer and it has been in Cancer for some time. It's going to stay direct for the remainder of the month. Thank God. I'm going to make this kind of a shorter, well, yeah, kind of a shorter, shorter show. Ha, <laughs> wordplay. Shorter show today because there's not that much of a change. Um, we have a lot of planets in a, so, so, <laughs> we have a lot of planets in a zodiac sign for a long time. Again, Mars will be in Aries for um, until January of next year. That's a really long time. And so we have a lot of things that we need to take action on and we start to feel more driven, more motivated, more powerful or empowered again. And this really plays well with all of the events that will happen later on in the year for yourself and also for society. So not everybody is going to feel as positive right now. Cancer, a cardinal water sign, is, can still feel very heavy or very emotionally exhausting for some, depending on what your mercury or your other placements are. So if you still need time to heal, you still need time to practice self-care or really get into the flow or get into a flow with your energy or with your vibrations, you know what I'm saying, um, with your physical self, there's still time for that. You don't have to rush your healing process. You don't have to be on board with everybody else. You know, that boat is going to keep sailing back. So you got some time. <laughs> you have some time. Be kind and loving to yourself. You know, and you will know when it's time to blossom. You know, we're all like, I, I, I swear, I feel like our emotions are so complex. It's like seasons, you know, it's not as routine, I guess, but it's still complex. The growth of ourselves, it's forever evolving. So go with that. Go with how you feel. Go with what's best for you and follow your intuition. Because with Mercury stationing direct, there's more clarity now. So the fog has been lifted. It won't be as confusing anymore. There's going to be more emotional direction, if that makes sense. As in, and let me explain... If you were feeling very tense or stressed during the retrograde, now that's going to start to slowly trickle away from you. And these mixed messages you may have been getting from others, it's going to be more direct now. Your intuition is going to be heightened. You're going to feel one with somebody else or you're going to feel their energy and emotions so you'll know what decisions you have to make. So our thought process is much more clearer. Our thought process is still very emotional. So we're going to make decisions based on how we feel. So really practice or develop your intuition and make sure you listen to that gut feeling. OK, you can do that now. Um, because during a retrograde, it was all like here, there, everywhere. <laughs> It was a mess. It was a mess. Um, so release yourself from anything that's been holding you back. I know that that's what I've been doing. And I know I keep talking about me, but you know, it's just I'm sharing with you what I've been doing with me. <laughs> I'm also going to get a haircut on Tuesday as, you know, my way of releasing the old me. So that can help with you too if you feel like you want to leave a part of you behind getting a new haircut or coloring your hair or just pampering something um, on yourself physically can really help you get back in touch with yourself or get back in touch with who you are today because that's what's important. Who are you today? Stop feeling guilty for the things you did in the past. Don't hold on to that anymore. You are not that person anymore. Okay, everybody can move on. Everybody can make mistakes or will make mistakes in life. Stop beating yourself up over it. It's time to grow from it. Whatever you learn during the retrograde, learn from it. Grow from it. Evolve past 
that evolve past yourself. Okay, if you're going through a hard relationship or you went through a breakup, take your time and returning that energy you invested into that person, return it back to yourself. Remember who you are. So usually during your breakup, I don't know if you guys do this, but during your breakup, you know, you get your sexy back. <laughs> I'm not going through a breakup, but someone out there might be. And you get your sexy back. You recharge yourself. You start, you know, being a baddie all over again. You start taking care of yourself. You start caring about what you look like again. And it doesn't make you a superficial person. In fact, it just makes you love on you again. Just remembering what it feels like to, you know, look in the mirror and say, I am still worth it. <laughs> so I hope that you start to feel that way about yourselves as well. Before we close out though, I wanted to give a special shout out for Build a Chick from Instagram. She sent me this beautiful gift. This is not sponsored. She did this out of the goodness of her heart and I am bless her so much because I thought this this was a beautiful gift. Um and I really appreciate that. Like nobody sends me anything. I don't ask for anything. And when people do give me stuff or buy me stuff as gifts, I don't even use it. I keep it in the box and I seal it away because I, I don't want to mess it up. And I love cherishing something for eternity. <laughs> so I always tell my friends and family, please don't get me anything that you think may be useful um, because I'll just preserve it. <laughs> So I'm going to preserve this for sure. Let me show you guys. So she gave me this beautiful hat. I don't wear hats. I don't wear hats a lot. Um, I don't wear hats at all, actually, but I might wear this one. This is cute. Look at it. It has a little crown here, and I'm looking at my screen right here, so I, I, I know where I'm pointing. <laughs> There's, like, little crystals and stones. Like, she hand makes this stuff. She's just starting her business, too, so um, I really am grateful for this. This is really cute. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if hats really look that good on me, <laughs> but if I'm out and about, I'm probably gonna I'm probably going to wear this, but I think it's cute. So follow her on Instagram if you want to. If you don't, it's totally optional. I held, um, I held my first workshop, my first astrology workshop over the weekend, and I thought it went really well. So if you still want to join, you can still, and you can catch the replay if you join a Cosmic District membership. Um, and I have two more weekends to go, so it's three Saturdays this month. Uh, we went over all of, well, basically I'm re. Yeah, I'm teaching people how to read their natal chart. This is a beginner's workshop, so it's very, 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 uh, I don't want to say basic because it's not basic, but it's more of learning the basics, learning the foundations of astrology. So if you're interested, you can still join, but if you don't want to, again, optional. With that being said, I hope that you guys find love and peace in your hearts. I hope that you guys find love and peace in other people or a difficult situation if you're in it. I will definitely pray for you. Um, and just remember, if you feel drained or exhausted, learn to take time out of your busy schedule and just love on yourself. That's really what it is. Return that energy back to yourself. Return the love back to yourself. And remember what it feels like when you felt really good in the past and bring it forward to the present time okay so i wish you guys the best and i will see you guys next week thank you so much for taking this time um to to spend it with me <laughs> all right you guys bye <laughs>